I'm pessimistic Tua Tonga Valo is going to play this weekend when the Dolphins take on the Buffalo Bills. Here's Mike McDaniel talking about the question of whether or not his starting quarterback has indeed been cleared to play this weekend against Buffalo. Has not been cleared for that level yet. I'm hoping to, with uh, all three active roster quarterbacks, um, they all have injury-related concerns. I'm hoping to have some clarity um, on Wednesday. Um, But as of right now, it's literally the same, if not more vague, than when I just saw you guys last. Saw most of you guys last. Again, the primary concern um, is that we lean on medical professionals for this, uh, these medical opinions, and I don't want to influence by over asking or trying to micromanage what, what the process is when he's ready to, when, when he's medically cleared to practice, he'll practice. Until then, I'm not doing anything. Okay. To, first point, first point. It may be Mike Lennon this weekend. Let's not gloss over that. McDaniel said he's got injury concerns for all three quarterbacks on the roster, and Skylar Thompson got banged up on Sunday against the Jets. So there's a chance. No Tua, no Teddy, no Skyler. Hello, Mike Glennon, the guy who's only on the team because he's got the fir- same first name as the head coach. I mean, McDaniel said that joking last week. But that, that's an alarm if I'm a Dolphins fan. It may not even be, can the rookie beat the Bills? It may be, can Mike Glennon score, I don't know, three points in Buffalo? I, I, I hope that's not the case. I don't really want to see that for playoff football, but it is something we got to be prepared for. Uh, I, uh, and, uh, again, I don't know the extent of Kyle, Skylar Thompson's injury. He is young. It, you know, He did finish the game there the other day, right? So I'm hopeful he can go. Teddy Bridgewater, it's a finger issue, which is never good as far as a quarterback, and it's on his throwing hand. But, you know, hopefully he can maybe throw the ball well enough to where he can play. Um, uh, you know, again, they, they have Teddy Bridgewater out there. You know, I'm not even – I don't know if I'd, you know, pick them to win the football game, but I think they can they can make things interesting. That's for sure. I mean, we saw them beat Buffalo. They went toe-to-toe with them up in Buffalo just a few weeks ago. So they just – they don't need – incredible quarterback play. I think they match up with them pretty well, but man, this is this is for a team that's been on a losing streak, barely got in, you know, dealing with the concussion talk of Tua, the Teddy injury. I mean, man, they've been dealing with a lot here and now they're preparing to get into a, a, a playoff matchup against a team that's going to be refocused and, you know, feeling good and have a real week of practice. Uh, yeah, they need to have some answers to this quickly so they can get their, their game plan formulated the right way. Well, the Skylar Thompson situation caught my eye when he mentioned he's got injury issues with all three quarterbacks because Matt Casey in the viewing room on Sunday made that point. With Skylar Thompson, even though he came back, maybe one of those things when he wakes up Monday morning, yeah, you know, he's he's having issues, he's having trouble. The adrenaline wears off, and maybe he is banged up. And Chris, look, I I don't have in front of me a list of all the available quarterbacks out there, but it really is odd that Mike Glennon would end up being a quarterback of that team, given the kind of offense that Mike McDaniel runs. I'd like to think, no no disrespect intended to Mike Glennon specifically, I'd like to think they have a better option than Mike Glennon if it comes down to it. Maybe they just don't. No, I don't think they do. Uh, that's, that's, I think they're telling you that. Yeah, he doesn't fit their system, but you know, as far as guys that have played and have a little experience and are not going to just totally crumble under the situation – you know, th- those guys are limited out there, and that's where Mike Glennon comes into play here. You know, they got they got to they can't just go. Oh, wait, this guy's athletic and he fits our offense more, but he's never played. That's when you're just asking yourself for a disaster. So they can manage the situation in the game with a little bit of Mike Glennon. They know he's going to know how to read defenses, get into certain plays and checks, and if a guy's open, he'll hit him. But yeah, it's it's not it's not a perfect scenario. That's for sure. And, you know, again, that's it's where it's crazy. We're talking about the Dolphins, the fall of this football team, and some of the issues over the last month. It's, it's pretty incredible. How I'd call Drew Brees before I'd call Mike Glennon at this point to come in, save me for one game, run that offense, hand the ball off, throw quick passes. I, I, I say that half jokingly, but also half seriously. Uh, here, here's something that, that I firmly believe about Tua. 
I don't think he's getting cleared. And I think this is one that goes beyond the protocol. I just don't think that that yeah, because there's a subjectivity to it. And when you consider what we just went through with DeMar Hamlin and what we collectively experienced in week four on the Thursday night in Cincinnati, the same place where the DeMar Hamlin situation happened. And then we had the weird thing on Christmas Day where, yeah, Tua in the second half did not look good, and then they realized the next day he had a concussion. I just feel like someone, somewhere, somehow is going to put their thumb on the medical scale and say, he's not getting cleared. He's not playing again this year. We just can't have him back on the field this year. We can't have another Tua Tonga Bailoa hits his head and what happens next. We can't have it. Not after DeMar Hamlin. We can't have it. Is that wrong to think that? I, I can't help but think it. And, and it's cynical. You know, it should be if he's cleared, he's cleared. But I just feel like the structure that's there, the football machine can't withstand another incident like what we've seen with Tua, especially after what we saw last week with DeMar Hamlin. Yeah, I, I think that comes into play. I think also just the this is where you know the the context of situations can be different and all that. You, know, you, you got to I think take into account a little bit that yeah the the two concussions he's had one of which looked really bad right you know really three concussions he had or three two, right three or concussions three. he who had. knows officially two yeah three but- he had two looked bad one we just saw a bad play in the second half and and yeah. That from that standpoint there too, just as far as that, it's where yeah, one more bad concussion in a game here this week. That you know the man, even Tua's got to be worried about himself personally. The people around him, the future, everything's gonna be you know gloomy. Wait, you had four concussions in one calendar fall season? Like you know, okay, I know we're in winter a little bit here, but you got the gist. That, that would be concerning no matter, you know, who it is. So that's where they got to be careful here, Mike. And I don't think you're crazy to have those thoughts. I'm with you as well. I don't expect to see Tua. One, for the personal health issues, and two, because of the way it might look if something bad happens to the NFL and the Shield there. Hey, regardless of whether anyone's getting any pressure to not clear him, I think that the doctors individually, their own consciences, their own oaths, the Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. If you're going to treat these players as patients and you consider the bigger picture, you got to sign your name on the form clearing him to play. And this is what happened with Javid Best, who eventually could not get cleared by anyone ever to play, not just in a given season, but ever. These are the issues that two is going to be facing. And I think for now, it's going to have a hard time getting any doctor to sign off on Tua continuing to play, at least for this season. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.